One of the main reasons the Ebola epidemic is out of control here, the corpses. Teams from the health department can't pick them up fast enough. These men belong to one of only four body collection teams that work in Liberia's capital of Monrovia. They've come to pick up the body of a woman who lived at the bottom of this cliff. Ebola corpses are contagious, and the team needs to get to the body before anyone else touches it. But it's slow going. Before they enter the victim's home, they have to put on protective gear. They can't leave anything exposed. An unprotected hand, a touch to the eye, and the workers themselves could become infected as they handle the bodies. It's a dangerous job and their families have begged them to quit. But the men say someone needs to do this. And the other reason they do it? It's good money here, about $1,000 a month. We are not a protector, we will take professional matter, but we see all with a whole story we are injured. Take complete control of your body in this professional trade. Amen. They strap on a container of chlorine solution to disinfect the area and head for the home of Rachel Willa. She's inside, in a darkened bedroom. Her husband died a few days earlier, and the team has already removed his body. They have four children still alive. All of them touched her while she was sick. A lot of other people touched her too. And the fear now is that many of these people might get sick. So you know it's you know it happening? You definitely have to go and pour yourself. I'm not doing it for your own sake. This is as close to a funeral as Rachel Willow will get. She was well loved in this community and they're going to miss her. Over the course of the day, the team picked up seven bodies and took them to a crematorium. Tomorrow, they'll do it all over again. <laughs>